know we're talking about stress. And yes. you say it's your body's X factor. So what exactly do you mean by that? So you could be doing great with your food, your fitness, sleep. Everything else can be great. But if your stress is out of control, your body's just not going to work for you. Yeah. And, and stress is basically it's your body's defense mechanism. And there's two main times, acute stress and chronic stress. Okay, so what's acute stress? So acute stress, these many moments we have. So mm. you're stuck in traffic. Uh, you're running late for a meeting. Basically, it's that time where you feel that moment and your body overleases a hormone called adrenaline, which mm -hmm. is your body's energy hormone. Okay. And cortisol, your body's stress hormone. Mm -hmm. Now, in moderation, it's fine. The problem becomes when you go from acute to chronic. Okay. So every time you have an acute stressor, like you're stuck in traffic or you're running late for a meeting, you come up and you come down. Chronic stress is when you have too many of those mini moments and your body can't relax. And when that happens, it affects your cortisol levels, your blood sugar, and it puts your metabolism to halt. Okay, so that sounds really that's terrible. That's not a good thing. <laughs> that is not a good thing. So that's why so... you have to manage your X factor. Yeah, so how do you do that? What's like realistic solutions to help you manage stress? You know, the, the first thing when we start looking at it is you gotta rate your stress. Okay. So I want you to think about like one being low stress, 10 being high stress. Where do you rate yourself right now? Um, at the moment, my stress is low, but I would say when I look at my inbox, it's mm -hmm. maybe like a five. <laughs> so <laughs> What's the average? What's the average of a day? Like around five? Yeah, I would it's, say five, five, six. So that's the sure. first thing. Rate your stress so you start becoming aware of it. Then you want to start a stress journal. Oh. So very simple. Okay. So every time throughout the day you feel that little, that little stress mm. moment, write it down. And then you start to see, and at the end of the day, you'll see how many. I had a client once who came to me and said, Mark. I don't have any stress, but her results weren't coming. I said, are you sure? Yeah. So I said, rate your stress. She said she was a two, so very low. Okay. She did a stress journal. She had 150 mini moments throughout the day. Yikes. So that means she was in a chronic stress. So yeah. once you write that stress journal, then you gotta start creating solutions. Okay. So for example, if you're running late for a meeting, like I always think, well, what's the worst case scenario? So you have to start creating solutions that can prevent yourself from getting in that situation. Sure, I love that. So that's like one taking ownership back of your yes. emotional state, right? And I like the fact that you're talking about journaling because even throughout this whole process, what's important to me is keeping track of my meal plans, what am I eating, how am I feeling? And so I think just adding that stress journal and, and keeping tabs on that helps us become more aware of those moments when we're being stressed. Yeah, I mean, that's what this whole Zen Project A community is about and our program is becoming the aware awareness of it. So it's not like rocket science with stress, sure. but if you don't understand the damage that can happen to your body, then you could be doing everything right, but not managing your stress and you can be in trouble. Right. And I don't know anybody that doesn't live a stressed out life. Like we are all faced yes. with different stressors throughout the day. So, I mean, what, what do you think is, is a great solution for that? I, I think you just have to, like you said, it all comes down to your choices. Yeah. You know, getting your sleep in order, following the plan by eating in threes, getting your exercise in. Those are all great stress reducers. Implement these strategies, and now you're starting to take back your how you manage stress and slay the X factor. Yeah, so it's a what progress over perfection, like you always yes. say. Yes, I mean, that's what we wanna think about, progress over perfection, and that's the call to action right now, is, is you know, rate your stress, start your stress journal, start creating solutions, and realize that you control how you react to things, and take a little pressure off yourself. Sure. One percent at a time, and make sure you maximize it. I love that. Even just being aware of little things that stress us out, I think might help take that down just a little bit. If we're like, okay, I know this stresses me out, so I'm just not going to do it, or I'm not going to participate in that. I think that's a great, a great strategy for re reducing our stress. Hundred percent. Now, what's fun is this: we've already talked about your detox phase, your ignite phase, your thrive phase. We've mastered your sleep. You're now minimizing your stress. Guess what? What? We're moving into week eight. Wow. You, you believe that? Time flies. I, can't I know. Believe it. So get ready for the next coaching session. So rock your stress this week. Get it under control because next week we're going to focus on how you can maximize your after pictures and finish like the champion that you are. Oh, that sounds you like ready? Fun. I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it. We'll see you guys on the next video.